Hey guys, how's it going? We are on the hunt. We need a lead on an early VW bug that has been sitting, I think for 30 something years. Good. Just before you straighten the trailer out, huh? <laughs> well, we brought chainsaws with us to go clear a path getting it to the car. There is a tree on the right hand side we may have to go clip out of the way but as far as the brush is concerned we may just try pulling it right out of the swampy area that it's in and deal with it more up on the lawn and go from there. Early bump. <laughs> it's that quick release type. I guess this will be a good test to see whether the bumper stays on, the uh, beam stays on too. Mystify that much. Hey, go ahead. 
It's pretty sad if that fell out of the front. Watch the paint. It's gonna fall right through. Put it in the seat. Sitting since 1985. Came from California. Went to go swap an engine. Went from 6 volt to 12 volt. They never got the 12 volt to work. And then it sat. Till we came along. Let's see if it'll run. A little aftermath of uh, dragging around. Let's go see if we can find any remnants other than the floor where the floor was. And she's definitely stuck in the mud for a little bit. There's the floor. What's that? That's the tie down, I think, for the battery, maybe. Part of the engine. That's a nice shot right there. Didn't even have to cut the tree down. We brought two chainsaws with us too. And a hedge trimmer. Didn't need any of it. Just part of something. There you go. We're gonna go hunt down some. Well, we got uh, tires, rims, and uh... we got some tires. We got some rims, an extra bonnet for it. Car came out of a creek bed in California. The people who brought it here stripped the second car to bring it for parts. And then when they got it here, they went to switch it from a six volt to a twelve volt system, and it never ran again. And how that was again from the sticker that was on it, 85? It was from 1985, yeah. It actually drove over the Rocky Mountains. And then when they got it over onto the other side, then they hitched the trailer. They, the, uh, they were towing it behind a Camaro. And the Camaro <laughs> wouldn't tow the thing over the mountains. So, so they, they had to drive the car over the mountains <laughs> to get it here. I'll help you get that right there with it. That's a funky color too, huh? California. <laughs> sure was. It's a 
in nice shape actually. Cool. Not been not been uh, scissored in the front. A couple other goodies are a couple of wheels. Now, this is early. These are later. Snow tires. There you go. You never know in California you're gonna need some snow tires. We're coming here across the <laughs> True. Good point. It may not work from back there. All right, now that we're back at the office, you can get a better idea at what we got. Can't open the doors very well because it's sitting so low, it is gonna hit the fenders on the trailer. I think the first thing we should probably do is either try to get some air in the tires or get them changed out to something that will hold some air. I'm not giving much hope for that one. That one maybe. Three of them maybe, so let's go get an air chuck. Throw, try throwing some air in them, see if they'll inflate up, and then we'll get into opening the doors in the hood and start seeing what's hiding underneath. Who's going to run out? Door number one. I think it's got a tube in it. I don't think we'll get overconfident. Had I known they were going to take air that easy, I would have done it there. That one going? Yeah, there we go. I am quite surprised. <laughs> yeah, we won't push our luck. Should probably get that door open now. She definitely smells as good as she looks. <laughs> Have a few dates like that. And definitely Mother Nature has taken its toll on anything and everything. Nothing left of the headliner. I wonder if this was a economy model. It only has one sun visor. It does got a funky seat on the pattern, pattern on the seat. That's different. The batteries in the front, core, I don't know what, there's a carburetor on the floor there. It has the block off plate in the dash, never had a radio, so that's what I'm saying, it might have been a, uh, a lower trim model, but it shouldn't have the chrome on the outside. I think all US spec had chrome on the outside, but I'm not sure of that stuff. We got, is that a stash? What is that in the seat? I like somebody put that there on purpose. Wouldn't be a VW without a stash in it. The passenger seat is in the back seat. We got a tow bar back there. And then the other seat. I'm gonna try to get a floor jack in the other corner. We'll get that corner up. Maybe we see if we can get that door open on the other side and we'll start getting this stuff out of here. That's the jack point on the body. Usually they are rotted off. I'm gonna give her just a little bit. Yeah, she's not gonna stay. You have to get her by the... I had the front chains undone and the slack in the winch. I shouldn't bind up. That's pretty good. We're having I'm gonna go buzz that tire off of there. We'll get a look at what's happening inside that wheel while we look at uh, rust.
and making a mess. Let's see what we got. It actually does not look terrible. <laughs> That's a boat of confidence or what? Usually it's like a lot of these areas are all gone. Let's see what's behind the under coating. Huh. Some shiny metal. Usually there's big holes here. Again. You never really traveled in salt. It's just, oh yeah, that's nice. You never traveled in salt weather. Just got, look at that. <laughs> that is just, that is shiny. I don't know if that's paint or bare metal. Hard to tell right now. Either way, it looks like it's in fairly decent shape. Good. Hopefully the rest of it starts to prove just the case and just wherever it touched the ground. You can see where the engine was touching. That's the thermostat underneath there. All that pan's rotted out. There was exhaust on this side that's missing altogether, whether they unbolted it or it's just rotted off. It's hard to say. Bumper brackets all rotted. The uh, you know, All this was in contact with the ground, so all this is kind of blown out. All right, let's get that door open and uh, get some of the goodies out of it and then we'll try to get a better look what's happening underneath it. I know the pans are all gone and everything, but be curious to see what kind of shape the heater channels are in. I already see it blowing out here. But difference between whether they're repairable or you have to replace them. I think this door's bound up pretty good. Let's go give her just a quick something in the hinges. I don't think we're going to mess the paint up. I have to do that from the inside. Ooh, it smells bad and I can't hold my breath that long. <laughs> Nothing's working. Cause that tire's not liking it. Maybe we should throw some heat on them right now. There they go. Now we can see what we got. Oh boy. <laughs> we got a... Might be a 40 horse. I can't see the number right now. The six volt, I don't know if that's the original six volt that was in it. And it blew up and they took it out. Let's see what we got. Hardware. Jack linkage. So the carburetor, a tube, a bicycle tube. Heater channels. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what we got. Them switching it over from six volts to 12 volts, probably all the six volt bulb maybe or from another car that they were going to go put into this one now so yeah let me go put you in the stand i started trying to get that seat out of there or the tow bar first whichever prefers to come out first got a chrome hold that Pop a windshield. Try to get it out of there. Ooh. 
Oh, the smell of ammonia. Nothing like the smell of ammonia first thing in the morning. Any and every beetle except for Super Beetle. That's probably what the toad is there with. Goes on to the front frame head. Prom dress. left of a box of goodies. I think we got the California plates in it. Look at that. All right. <laughs> got a number 63. I don't know if that's for year 63. What else we got? Carolina. Gasket set. I don't know. And a bunch of... I found the ignition. <laughs> Okay, because I don't know if there's no key in it. All right, we'll get all that to the side. We'll keep digging. And we'll pick through that stuff later. Generator. Clutch. Both of those in fine shape. License plates, brackets, Reno, and Laconia, New Hampshire. I have a feeling these are from a bunch of other stuff. Yay. I think they stored all their license plates in here. I wonder if they are off of that Camaro they were talking about. That one. A starter. Another starter. Not to be outdone. Another starter. I don't know. A two by four. Kick panels. New fuel filter. An oil filter wrench for a car that doesn't have an oil filter. Fuses. A relay. More of the prom dress. I don't want to know. Yeah. A fresh battery. Charge. New in the box. Oof. And I need air. <laughs> We're getting there. I might go grab a couple of cardboard boxes. We gotta get that passenger seat out of the back there. Hey, was that our old registration? Maybe a Reggie right there. It looks like it's an old registration. I won't get that close to hide their information. <laughs> that might be a Reggie. Might be for another car though. All right. We go dig over there and I'll just get that seat out of there. Put a mask on. I think we're just gonna rip some of this crap right out of here. That's hanging. You're getting the glove box and the hood. That cleared up behind us a little bit. Give us a little bit more. Put there. It's like a steering box. Carb. Early. Looks like they got two by fours or two by eight holding the, the engine up. Didn't fall through the floor yet. That's a good sign. I'm not digging that crap out yet. Let's get that passenger seat out. I think that's what I said I was going to do anyway, right? A jack. Brush. Empty can of oil. That thing rotted out. Green. All right. 
Das ist gegen den Fall von uns. Hold your breath. They wore some funky seat covers. It's a better shot. I like the pattern, actually. And a big hole in the floor. A belt. Another battery. Yeah. That one's six volt. A wheel. Exhaust part. I think the rest of it needs a shovel and a shot back. We hit that crap out of the front there. I think uh, we got most of the big pieces out. There might be some stuff behind the seat yet too. Let's see if we can get under the hood. I haven't opened that yet. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna play well. Might be two people on that one. Oh, nope. Except a rod that hyper extends and holds it. Stay. Alright. I don't know. Another generator. Another steering box. And a tow ball. <laughs> and a huge nest. There you go. A little bit of light on it. It's been home to somebody for quite a while. Let's get the front spare tire out of it and see what kind of rot is down in the tire well. I do not see daylight already, so that's a good sign. Here's the original color of it. All right, guys, and instead of me just picking away and turning the camera on and watching it, I'm gonna go take a bunch of time, not break my neck on some metal pieces. Clean out and vacuum out a bunch of the crap and I'll bring you back and I'll show you what the aftermath is, what we have to work with. Well, the good news is the apron area where this retire is, is awesome shape. And the body tags are on it, which is nice. Everything's pretty complete. All the tins are on it. The one that's for the beam in the center there is there. That's where the rod where it comes out, the steering uh, shift rod. But it was in there. Unfortunately, looking up here, I started vacuuming out some of the crap on the top. I could already see a hole blown out through the center where our nest was. So let's go mount the camera up, go pull this away and see what we got left for that area. This shouldn't be messy at all. Don't break on me. I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't say it's terrible either. It's kind of an easy patch to repair. You guys are shaking around. Fortunately, it's in a simple area. We'll flip back to the shop vac. I'm gonna do a little scraping, a little vacuuming. I'll bring you back. Well, if there's any paperwork in that glove box, I don't think it's gonna be very good. Vacuum started slowing down. Wonder why. That's just from the hood. The shop already busted on that. Let's go see if we just pull that away. Yeah, I think we'll do our best to. Uh, <laughs> Deal with that somewhere else. Solid. I think we've done enough cleaning under here. Just kind of get an idea. We got a bunch of rot all down in there. 
again all just from nest material it really has nothing new from sitting just the uh, the mice and the rats getting to it pressure washer should do uh, wonders on cleaning some of this crap up so that's about as good as we're gonna get it as long as we got all the heavy stuff out of there to get a, a general idea of what we got I think from now from now for now we should go back to the main compartment we'll start cleaning this area out got to get that engine out of there I'm not looking forward to trying to wrestle that thing out of there vacuum all this crap out and get a good idea what we got for heater channels oh boy I'm giving myself very low chances that that's gonna work When I was a younger lad, we just ripped that thing right out of there. You knew that was going to happen. Roll, baby, roll. Tuck and roll. Not exactly how I planned it. I'll take it for the win. Smooth. Spiders aren't happy. Hmm. More digging. And post vacuum, about what I expected. Got a decent amount of rot in the floors. It's, that's common for a beetle. Let's go pull this up in the front. Get a corner on it. And I'll have some sound deadening underneath it. Actually looks pretty good. It's called the Napoleon's hat in the front there. Yeah, that's pretty rotted out. Checking the heater channels on the side. We run a vacuum through there. See what we got. And the driver's side. Front actually looks pretty good. Chef's hat looks okay. Napoleon's hat. Heater channels, I do not see anything obvious, which would be like right in this area all blown out. They actually look fairly decent. You know, it's a little crusty, but nothing. A pillow looks decent. This lip is gone somewhat, but a carpet pinches into it. But the bolt holes where the running boards attach actually look fairly decent. A little bit of punkiness right there. Nothing terrible though. It'll blow out right there. And then just the normal this is where i was all contacting the ground so of course all that's gone i don't know if we can get away with just rear floors possibly on both sides until you start whacking on it with a hammer and really see what flakes up a little hard to tell i say we flip that seat down get that area cleaned out and see what the package tray looks like surprises we have back here a couple of engine tins belts dirt and yeah, let's go see if just pull that right back so far so good yeah, let me get some hands in here we're gonna go clean this out vacuum it out i'll bring you back when we have a, a good look at it good view get rid of that back seat just to get a better look at what we got and get it cleaned out the rest of the way package tray actually looks pretty good and most of the higher up issues is just right in that area everything else Pretty much looks like it's just going to be in the floors again it it's always worse than what you see as you start taking stuff apart and whack it with a hammer there's going to be holes and stuff that open up more than what's uh already visible right now but for a uh, preliminary it's actually looking pretty good sometimes the back window blows out loses its seal runs down the back you see a stain right there in the middle of the glass there's a little bit and it runs down and all the water sits in there and takes out that package tray Especially on convertibles, you know, they 
they fail very quickly. It's probably what caused that damage right there. The body was probably leaning a little bit that way. And all the water just pooled down in that spot. Well, we got the main cabin done, cleaned out. Under the hood is cleaned out. I say now we move over to the engine bay and see what we got going on in there. And, and the hood can stay up. Yeah, looks like it's missing a support rod. I think we gotta go find ourselves a piece of wood. Hold that. We got ants running over there. They're all crawling around, coming out of somewhere. Let me go get some kind of bar to hold that up. That's better. Biggest thing I see being an issue is had no air cleaner on it. This where this motor is going to turn. The nut turns. <laughs> That might have to be a video for another day because we're not getting anything out of that. And again, that, that could have been put away, already screwed up, who knows. Yeah. <laughs> Being a generator turns, kind of. <laughs> Just not the motor. I'm gonna do a little bit of vacuum, vacuuming out of that, and uh, really want to hit it with a pressure washer and kind of get a bunch of the funk off of it that we can inside and out. I think we just took a vacuum to it with an air gun. Plugs are in it. There's no wires going to a couple of them. But the mice just ate them, or it was a problem. Let's try to get one more shot. It's just tightening the nut. Got no tins around the back. Possibly what could have happened to it could have run to the point where it overheated and locked up. Just, just who knows? You know, just too much guessing on my part. Chokes closed. That helps, but you never know what it got for rain going in down inside of it. This deck lid is kind of busted up, <clears throat> but the water was getting around. I know there was a large gap on the right hand side, so. Whether the gap was enough of the hood sitting away a little bit, water did get in it. Anybody's guess. But it did come with another engine. Let's go give a quick look at that. Sometimes it's better just to abort and go with something else, right? Ah, there we go. Won't screw with it. It does turn. That's a good sign. So that might be a better candidate just to go play with right off the bat. I think they had rags stuffed in the uh, the ports at one point. At least one of them is.
Well, I was hoping that the uh, pressure washer would take off more of the bleach, the bleach, take off more of the mold that is on it. It didn't do very much, so I'm gonna go hit it with some bleach and water, and we'll see what that does for it. Let that sit up for about, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes maybe. Go over the whole car. You get the idea, right? It's already working. See it changing color? That'll, that should make a, de a decent improvement for us. It looks like a good spot to do a before and after, so that's the before. Mostly it's right there. And about 10 minutes later, to use a little bit of help with a scotch fright. should knock the rest of it off. That's more like it. I'm just gonna give that a once over one more time around the whole car and I'll run around with the scotch Bright, give her a little uh, little cuffing, and then we'll hit it with the pressure washer one more time. And after. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? You'd think the pressure washer would just knock it right off of there, but not so much. So we are finally away from smelling like mouse piss and crap to smelling like bleach. One's a little bit better than the other. Just saying. I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, Brian and I were uh, coming back with it. And we decided on a name of Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> and uh, I think it fits it pretty good. See, so we're in the wheel well. I see this. Let's go peel some of this back and see what we got. Look at that. That is nice. Funny how the moisture made it so it pulled away, but. No salt ever was, the car was never really driven in the salt, so. That's amazing. That's usually all blown out in there. Okay. Maybe a little bit right there. That's awesome. Hmm. Well, the car's back in and drying out. I'm gonna go put the big fan in it for tonight and let that run just kind of get air circulating through and dry it out unfortunately it has to be done it's it <laughs> you must have just submerged a car in the lake i know but the fact that everything has had so much mouse piss over everything if you don't get it all out of there it's just every hot day it's going to smell later on on the car so it really needed to have that heavy wash done to it and there's really nothing in the car that's not going to get taken apart and or replace that got wet is going to be an issue the regulators rotted right out through the side of it all the wiring will be fine that'll dry out uh, i tried to stay away from the speedometer everything else is really not much to the car uh, electrically electrical wise so this is all the bits and pieces that were in it seats are pretty hammered those are seat covers that were put over that's the original is right there is the white they're beat but the frames are good for rebuilds and or just try to find other used ones. Direction to go with this car, my opinion is just to kind of leave it like a patina or rat rod style and have fun with it. You can go, you're gonna end up replacing everything. If you're really gonna end up chasing to make it a really pristine car, you're gonna put $30,000 into a $20,000 car when you're done. So it's kind of cost prohibitive. That's what you like to do, fine. But for me, uh, I'm gonna keep an eye out. I'm gonna make a shopping list of things I need. And as that kind of comes along, when I go to the swap meets, I'll gather parts for it. I'm not looking to go jump on this car right away. I have other projects that are in process. And it's nothing worse than starting another one and not getting finished. But I want to get an idea what I had body-wise. It's got two of those California plates. And what is the date on that one? 73? 74. 73 to 74. And all bits and pieces, but again, all this stuff needs to really be kind of gone through and cleaned out and ticked through. Those are bus. Those look bigger. They might be bus. You never know what you're going to go find, too. You see, I'm just going to throw that out, but then you're going through it. You find stuff like, no, no. <laughs> I need that. Got enough lug nuts. Yeah, so that's the smaller scale. There's the shade difference. See the difference between the two of them. Hmm. Like the later beetle too. Again, we need an ignition switch. That's good. What is 
It's like body. It was a body uh, pan hardware. So somebody really did strip another car. Everything that was worth. Valve cover gaskets from whenever. Carolina plates, 81. Jersey ones we got. And California ones. Those that are part of the original from this car. California, I believe the plates stay with the car. For us, we, every time you re-register a car, you get a new set. Three starters. I'll keep those. The generator's probably boogered up and junk. That clutch is junk. Two of the mats look like they're okay. The passenger side mats might be alright. Actually, that one driver might even come back to after it gets cleaned. Yeah, the generator's done. That bearing and shaft is shot. That clutch is junk. The jack should be able to get cleaned up. The oil can is kind of cool. The tins look like they're decent. And I really do not feel like going through that <laughs> glove box with all the nesting material that's in it. But I'll pick through that too. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a few minutes, go through all that, and I'll relocate them in a new uh, container and put that in the stash. And these were in the garage. These are other containers. Just had some miscellaneous things in them from the BWs, not from this car. That's too early. A couple of tail lights. Part of a shifter, hubcap, 67. A headlight that will fit the car. Horn ring that's not for the car. And it's like a couple more lights down below. Lights that are for a trailer or something. And then a modern digital tail light. You go panning for gold. We'll shake all the dirt out and pick out the nuggets. That's for a distributor. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go take a few minutes just to kind of sort through, get rid of all the garbage. That's for a distributor too. That's in there. Keep out the good stuff and put it up in my stash. Because you never know when you're going to need it, right? Nothing. It's kind of California hippie on this thing. Oh boy. <laughs> we even want to look. Just in case there's a set of keys or something in there. I have to, you know. Let me, um. That's yeah, nasty. Let me dump this. Give it some room. You know, crap on top is fluff. Part of something. That's a pencil. And they ate all the wood except for the lead. <laughs> we got a pen. Let's go work with a pen. A little more stout. 
think we're going to find a carcass. Okay. Money's falling out. Some stuff in the back. Go empty that again. I don't see anything in there. But there's some bits and pieces of a box or something right there. And some metal strips or something. Let me get a good screwdriver. It's a little more stout, you know. You can dig and pry. It's a grill, a wiper blade, there better be something good in here, that might be a tail, <laughs> yeah, that might be a tail, and I don't know what that is, it's in that box, brake parts, you want them, <laughs> how bad do you want them? I don't think they're going to be much salvageable. All right. Just in case. You know later on. If you didn't. Wiper arm. More pencils. How about a key? Come on. That was money. More money. I'm calling it. And if we didn't look, it would have bothered me the whole time. Pencil sharpener. More coins. You know you want me to check the date, don't you? <laughs> Alright. That was gross enough. I think there's nothing left in there worth it. Pillaging. Two seventy fours and a fifty nine. Half inch swivel, no name. And the bottom of that dirty rotten box I was ready to throw out there's the body tag I'm not sure if it's for this car or for another one probably for the other one that all the parts came off of and unfortunately you know if you'll be able to see it it's for a 72 Volkswagen an orange 72 VW that was done in New Hampshire so that's the car that a bunch of the parts were taken off of that I got the taillights and stuff for maybe one of the motors too no that would be a dual port 72 anyway not good for this car oh well so that's the key pile, a bit more organized and defog. Yes, I kept the oil can. Those tins are going to go upstairs where the other tins I have. And I uh, just go in my stash and I'll use them as needed. Starter, starters in that one generator, same thing. Two steering boxes, same thing. Box of carburetors upstairs, I'll throw that with that. Batteries will get uh, junked for cores and get used over. Seats are just, you know, pretty much cores that they're only good for, but they're for the car. So those four are good. Everything has a home. I'll keep the mats until I do find other ones. If not, I'll have those. And then the engine is ready for, uh, will it run probably at some point? She does look like it needs a little bit of love, but it does turn a little bit. 
All right, guys, it's getting late, so I'm going to try to wrap this one up. But it worked out pretty good. We got it cleaned out, figured out what we needed. I kind of like the look of it. It's <laughs> a tad bright, but uh, that's all right. Mix it up a little bit, right? Know what we need? And uh, the list isn't small, let's, uh, let's say. But, again, it's not a total rust bucket. <laughs> Some people may be disagreeing with me, but needing floors and uh, a little bit on the back of the heater channels. It has uh, a lot of good spots in it that are not normally good on any car on the East Coast. Again, just coming from California and then just being parked. Never had the salt water splashed up into the wheel wells. So all that stuff that we peeled away, these areas are usually always gone. And look at them. And pull the unencoding back and nice and clean. That had a, a nest right there, so that's what took that out. And then the floor pans. Got a cool look to it, I like it. Growing on me. Fruity pebbles. And it now smells like bleach. Look at that package tray. No damage. All right, guys, with that, I think we're going to go sign off. I'm gonna put the fan in her, let her blow through all tonight, try to dry out the interior. And I'm going to go put this one in my stash until whenever. <laughs> I'll put this one on the uh, bucket list. I'm already working on a couple of other ones up there that are in mid-process right now that I do not want to start on another one. But I just want to go clean it out and get an idea what I had. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and uh, doing a little bit of uh, hunting on this one. And if I have any more, I'll try to do the same if this goes, if this goes over well. All right, guys, till then, I'll see you. Bye.